Hi everyone, thanks for coming out to Lux Brown's Potatcha Town. The exhibition closes tomorrow, so make sure to come back and see it if you haven't seen it in its full version. Potatcha Town was written by Lux Brown and Molly Joyce, and is also performed by Liz Barb tonight. So thanks for coming out and enjoy. Mm -hmm.
Hey Houston, what's going on today? Oh, you know, just sorting through files, going through the old memories, singular and collective. I gotta get everything ready before the big trip. On Tuesday! <laughs> From point G to point H. You know, always gotta be doing something, we always gotta be going somewhere. I mean, what else are you gonna do after survival? Yeah, after survival comes Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, survival is always your problem, not mine. I'm, I'm permanent. Whoops, I'm permanent too. Yeah, you and me. Uh, no. I mean, no memory is permanent. Come on, give me a reason to exist here. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's just not forget, you and I are one. Houston. Right, Houston? Houston? Huh? What's going on? Oh, we have a problem. When? In Focaccia Town. E Ariel! Oh, oh no, I can't. No, I just, I can't. Send me no why. I'm just so tired of ancient grains. I mean, we make it from a powder anyway. We may make it from a powder, but we have a utility patent and a design patent on that. Patent or not, I come on. Tonight, our investors, they want to see something exciting. They want to see bread on another level. Where can we take it? They want to go there. Yeah, I know. That's why I sing Banana Kaja. It didn't work last time. Once upon a time, there was or will be a great woman named Ariel. <laughs> Hello. And once upon a time, there was or will be a great man named Antoine, Antoine, Anton. Hi, I'm Antoine. This is my wife, Ariel. And today, we are seeking $30 million for a 2% stake in our company, Focaccia Tech. <laughs> That's right. And we'll all hope you join us. Tonight, at the new bread product launch, we're bringing something back from the old days. It's crackers! And we're going to be having brioche. She'll be making a live feed. I know you all follow her. And once upon a time, there was a child queen named brioche. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna make a live feed. Hey world, it's Brioshi. What's up? Hey, yeah. surfs. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm fighting for revolution. I'm here for the people. Sure. There's not gonna be any of those left soon. Huh? Listen, anyways, I want you to get ready for the party and we'll see you in a minute, okay? Yeah, sure. Bananas, focaccia, fortress, investors. I'm like 16. I'm like 27. I'm like 38. I'm like 64. You know, I'm like betrothed to a guy in satellites. I mean, it's okay, but do you ever wonder, like, what if there was just something more, you know? Like, do you ever just want there to be something more? Like, I mean, we have internet, and we have paprika. <laughs> <laughs> Which is special, but I don't know, I just, sometimes I just feel like, Is there anything in there? Is there anything besides the now? I just want to know if, like, there's something more. Brushy! Come downstairs! I'll do the live feed before the party's 
I had to do. No. You don't know. That's my baby. That's my baby. He's my son. And your stepson. And Brianna, she's 
I have a brother. Oh, really? Uh, she, I, didn't, I didn't want you to find out. What are you talking about, Ariel? Oh, Brioche. You were born during the war. came out and saw that you were brown. They were incinerating people left and right. So we thought, well, maybe if we put you in a loaf of bread, you'd be OK, because nobody wants burnt toast. You put me in a loaf of bread? We didn't have any other choice. We said you were a medical miracle. And, 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 and people loved you once everything was over and, and those who were left saw the error of the ways. I mean, it was the Crusades. We had to do everything we could to survive. And it just so happened that he tested very well with our Midwestern market. You put me in a loaf of bread? Yes. I mean, it, it all lined up with what was happening with genetic engineering at the time. It's not so unbelievable. You put your baby in a loaf of bread. I did what I had to to protect you. You used me for marketing. I did it for survival. A mother protect. You gonna believe this, Brioche? <laughs> Brioche, please. <clears throat> Brioche. Brioche. Huh? <laughs> hey. Hey. Your mom said to save you. I just came back here to tell you. But there's a whole world outside for God you down. And there's a whole bunch of people you'd like to meet. And you can come home anytime you want. <laughs> Believe no one even knows I am unraveling. 
that's sweeping the nation. But first, the exclusive footage. <laughs> Put the bag down now. Put the bag down now, sir. Who the fuck is this guy? Put the bag down now. Put the bag down now. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Footage uncovered, new footage 
uncovered. Let's roll the tape. Sir, please put the bag down now. We don't know where you are, and if you put the bag down now, we can come to an understanding, sir. This is a peaceful party. We don't know who you are. We just want to have a good time. Could you please, sir, please, please, sir, just, you know, put the bag down now. Oh, don't do it, sir. What the fuck do you want from me, huh? Sir, please, please put the bag down now. Yeah, what else, motherfucker? That's all for now. I'm Melanie. 
reporting live. Houston! This is more than a tear! I told you. This is a giant data breach! How are we gonna get from point G to point H on Tuesday if we have to go all the way back to point A to B? This isn't a tear. Someone did this. Their memories have been erased. The code is now functioning. They have a powerful technology, but it can be easily overridden. But too much. It might have been better when they wrote things down. Their minds became overloaded. Their brains exploded. Hearts imploded under the weight. The crusade acted quietly but swiftly. They believed the stories and lost the imagination. Well, can we fix it by Tuesday? <laughs> no. into the history to recover some things that were forgotten. If there is too much data on the drive, it won't function.
Thank you. Thank you. 